Hey, it's Dr. Shirley. How are you today? I am here with your daily dose. This is something new I've been doing. It just kind of hit me that sometimes getting healthy, especially naturally, can seem very overwhelming. Um, you know, maybe there's foods to watch and detergents to look at and walks to take and clean food to eat. And I just thought, you know what, if I can share just one tip every day that you can use easily and implement easily that bit by bit you can really start to get healthy and that's really my mission my mission um, I'm the owner of the dr. Shirley's body scan center which I love doing but I also like teaching and educating and this is part of how I do this today so thanks for tuning in so today we're going to talk about something really really super simple and that is drinking warm lemon water the first thing that you wake up in the morning okay I'm a coffee drinker I get excited when I know I've got coffee waiting but the first thing that I want to do every morning is to get some warm water into my system now this this is something that's been practiced for thousands of years. I've done a lot of traveling and whether I've been in India or Nepal and China, this is a practice that goes on because this is something that's well known and a great way to wake up the body and not cold water. I mean, you can see in the menu, like when I was in India, they've got on the menu warm water, 50 cents, which is kind of interesting, but warm water really helps things to absorb in our body. And what I'm going to talk about today is some of those specific benefits. So the first thing you do when you get up in the morning is have some warm water. Maybe you want to put in the microwave, that's up to you. I sometimes just take it out of the tap because we've got some good water just like a medium warm it doesn't have to be hot but something warm because that's going to help to distribute through the body you want to put some lemon in very simple just a wedge that's it you know you don't need a whole half maybe a quarter just squeeze that in stir it drink it maybe it's about six to eight ounces it doesn't have to be specific but when you drink this warm water into your body you're going to immediately start to wake up so let me show you some of the things that we're going to talk about that'll be helpful for you today first of all vitamin um you know vitamin C is very prevalent in, in the lemon, okay? So you've got your great antioxidants going on. The other thing is it's very high in potassium, and potassium is a very important mineral that actually every single one of our cells has. It's a, a, um, very integral to heart health. It's actually considered one of the electrolytes that makes our heart go. It's also full of magnesium, and if you've been following me, you know that I love, love, love magnesium. I think it's one of the most important uh, minerals to stabilize our body, our heart, our blood pressure, and all of that. Um, the other thing there's is phosphorus, and about 1% of the, actually phosphorus this is a very dominant mineral. We don't know, um, most people don't know about it, but really about 18% of our brain is phosphorus. So we really need that for some strong um, brain function. The other thing that's in there is good absorbable calcium. Okay, so just by having this, you've got a really good start on some you know, natural vitamins getting into your system right away. The other thing that helps to do is it starts your digestive system going. The digestive system needs to wake up. You've heard the term, of course, break fast, breakfast. That's exactly what it is. So by starting this warm water into your body with a lemon and immediately wakes up your digestive system and it will start to stimulate um, your elimination. Now, every single function in our body has a particular timeline, okay? So our bowels actually want to move. That's called our circadian clock. They want to work, to move between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. So if you drink, and most people are up around those hours, if you start to drink the warm water, it's going to help the body to start detoxify, but it's also going to help your stools to be softer and they're going to be able to go, you know, quite a bit nicer. Um, the other thing that's going to do for you is that lemon is antiviral. Um, it is antibacterial, and it's going to help to boost your immune system. So getting this in every day is going to help to build um, you up your thymus gland, and your thymus gland is your gland that gives off your T cells, and your T cells are the ones that go out and kind of like little scavengers, and they eat, eat up the bacteria and eat up the virus. So some pretty cool things doing. Oh, hey, Kim. Hi, John. Nice to see you guys. Um, another thing that lemon does very simply is it helps with your weight loss, and in what the way that it does this is it changes your metabolic rate so much, especially as we get older. Our metabolic rate starts to climb down, and you know everyone says well my metabolism changed like yeah you're right it did you know it just it just does change so yeah I'm always looking for different ways to keep my metabolism up so drinking lemon water is a very simple way you know to do that so it's going to have an immediate effect and it will have you know I'm not talking about you lose five pounds next week that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying your metabolic rate will burn higher you will burn more calories and your BMI will be in, in much better shape the other thing that it does right away is it cleanses your liver and I'm a big liver gale I think liver is the key to what's going on um, in our body as far as um, it's a filtration system so it's kind of like about the toxins that we have and the liver is on the right side of the body underneath the rib so as soon as we take this warm water and this liver in it very gently gives a wash okay because our, our blood circulates through our whole body I think it's I don't know exactly it might be four minutes it goes really really quickly so as soon as this warm water and lemon gets in there the liver is like oh yay you know I can start letting things go so this is a, a wonderful thing because really so much illness is called by caused by a buildup of toxins okay I, you know, within the system. So the other thing that you're going to do is you're going to hydrate the whole body. So soon, just like a plant, you know, when you water a plant, have you ever watched 
closely, if you water a plant, you can actually see the little leaves start to move sometime because they're like, yay, you know, giving some water. Your brain is the same way. So as soon as you get some warm water and some lemon, it's like your 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 brain just lights up. You know, it's kind of like, all right. So our brain has got to get, you know, we have synapses that go from like point A to point B. And these are like, you know, these dendrites and they send over these, you know, through these synapses. And that's how we sometimes say like, wait, it's just on the tip of my tongue. It's in my brain somewhere. Well, the more that we drink this water and the more we drink, you know, the lemon, especially first thing in the morning, we're going to lose that fogginess and we're going to be a lot clearer uh, first thing and our, our body and our mind are going to be you know pretty happy um the other thing that i think is kind of cool is you're going to start to see reduction in muscle pain and see a reduction in your your joint pain as well too and so many people have that i got to say Especially, I see a lot of people who are 40. I see a lot of younger people too, but there's a lot of joint dis difficulty going on. In fact, I'm going to talk about it in length on my show on, on Tuesday. But just very simply, what it does is the lemon in the water will reduce the uric acid, okay? And uric acid can cause pain and can cause inflammation in your joints. If you've ever had the, uh, it's not going to say pleasure because it's painful. If you've ever had or heard someone that has a gout situation, that is a buildup of uric acid, okay? So the uric acid causes the inflammation and that's where the plant pain comes from. The other thing is that sometimes we don't have enough synovial fluid. If you hear that someone says, oh, I've got a bone on bone, well, there's a fluid, almost like a cushion sack that's in there. And that can actually just get you know pushed right down like a, like a bad pancake. And when that goes down, then we don't have those liquids and we don't have that fluid in there. So by reducing the inflammation, then we're going to be able to keep the fluids there as well too. And that's going to help your whole structural system and it's going to help your joints. By the way, as you can tell, I just kind of ramble on. So if you got a question, just type it in because I will see you. And and I'd be happy to answer your question. And you can always uh, message me at drshirleysays.com is where my website is. And I'm always happy to answer personal questions. So thank you for watching. Alrighty, the other thing that we found out that, um, that, that lemon and water helps is gingivitis. Now, anything when you see the term itis, I-T-I-S, that means inflammation of. So gingiv um, is a name, it's probably the Latin name um, for gum. So a lot of times the doctor will say, oh, you know, you have gingivitis, you gotta watch that. And like, okay, what's, you know, what's going on there? But the lemon is going to help to reduce uh, the bacteria in your mouth and you know thus it's also going to help with um, that kind of thing um, just as a side note coconut oil is fabulous to have um, inside your mouth in the morning as another thing that reduces on um, gingivitis and you can work with this stuff I mean I've gone to the dentist I say oh I've got gingivitis and I, I go back three months later and they're like wow your mouth looks amazing so these things can change so don't take everything as it is start to ask what else can I do you know to feel you know to feel better so hey Joel hi Brian Liz how are you nice to see you um, okay, next thing I want to talk about is pH balance. Okay, so the lemon in the water is going to change your pH balance. And how it does this is, it, do you know what the pH balance is? Does anybody know what that is? We may remember it from probably ninth grade, maybe eighth grade, um, you know, simple science, but our body is a pH balance and the balance is around seven. Now, when they've shown that when a body is in an acidic state, that's where disease thrives. I'm talking the big diseases, you know, the, you know, the diabetes, the, you know, the Alzheimer's, the cancers, those are in an acidic environment and things that make our body acidic are all those things that most of us like, whether that's meat, whether that's sugar, um, whether that's alcohol and coffee and dairy and cheese, and those are all your acidic foods. Our alkaline foods are foods that are alive and those are our fruits and our vegetables and our nuts and our seeds and our grains and legumes and beans and things like that so the lemon helps to make your body more on the the acidic or i'm sorry more on the alkaline side and an alkaline body is going to be a healthy body so it's a great way to start the day and also to hopefully get you in the mode to eat a lot more alkaline you know throughout the day so you've got that balance going on the next thing that does the second last thing is it helps your morning breath i thought that was kind of interesting because we have a lot of bacteria in our mouth right we wake up in the morning is like blah, 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 you know and now some people actually do like tongue scraping that's known in india and they actually do this you know it's a metal scraper i'm sure you can get on amazon and you just scrape scrape your tongue and it takes a lot of the bacteria off but that's where our bad breath can come from um if it's well i'll get into that another day but anyway when you do that first thing in the morning your breath is a lot uh nicer it takes that bacteria out and you've got a nice you know a nice smell going on both on outside and on on the inside as well too the other thing that water and lemon is going to do is very simple things. It creates more collagen, okay? I talk a lot about collagen. I have most, most all of my clients over 40, I have on collagen. You know why? Because everybody needs collagen. It is one of the best things for your joints, one of the best things for your face. Um, you know, I don't have an ache or a pain or an itch or a, you know, anything. I've you know hiked 70 miles in a week in yoga, and I, I, I'm not doing that for anything about me. I'm just telling this collagen is so good that it really can repair bodies at, at, at any age. And so with a collagen, what it helps to do 
is it helps with your inflammation um, in your joints, uh, tendons, um, in your ligaments, and then it also helps with flexibility. And the other thing it does is it helps with our face. So it helps our face to have a more elasticity and have a better tone as well too. So that's pretty much it with the water. So who can do that, right? You can start your day like that. So these are just some simple tips for you so you can start to make some changes so you can have better health. I get very distressed thinking about the fact the last thing I heard was that the United States is number 50 in health in the United States. Number 50, okay? I, I really get crazy when I hear all this, we're number one stuff. Yeah, well, we're number one in heart disease. We're number one in stroke. We're number one in diabetes. I don't know if we're quite number one in obesity because I think Mexico may have overtaken us in that category. Uh, we are losing more kids like at, at birth and people dying in childbirth. It's really just crazy. And so much of this we can help ourselves. I am not anti-medical. You and I have a stroke or heart attack. Thank goodness 911 is in the driveway. But all this other stuff, you know, things like energy and things like sleep and joint pain and digestion and skin issues, we can take care of all that naturally. And I'm happy to help you do so. So thank you for watching my, my doses today and give a wave or a shout out or say hello or leave a comment because the more comments, as we know, the Facebook logarithm, it gets out to more people. And that's really what my desire is to educate as many people as I can. So thanks for watching and have a great day and um, maybe we'll tune in tomorrow. Bye.